Welcome back. One final point before we go tonight. Liberal comedian Samantha B apologized on her show last night for calling first daughter Ivanka Trump a feckless C-word. Take a look. A lot of people were offended and angry that I used an epithet to describe the president's daughter and advisor last week. It is a word I have used on the show many times, hoping to reclaim it. This time, I used it as an insult. I crossed the line, I regret it, and I do apologize for that. The problem is that many women have heard that word at the worst moments of their lives. A lot of them don't want that word reclaimed. They want it gone, and I don't blame them. I don't want to inflict more pain on them. I want this show to be challenging and I want it to be honest, but I never intended it to hurt anyone. I should have known that a potty mouthed insult would be inherently more interesting to them than juvenile immigration policy. I would do anything to help those kids. I hate that this distracted from them, so to them, I am also sorry. And look, if you are worried about the death of civility, don't sweat it. I'm a comedian. People who hone their voices in basement bars while yelling back at drunk hecklers are definitely not paragons of civility. I am. I'm really sorry that I said that word, but you know what? Civility is just nice words. Maybe we should all worry a little bit more about the niceness of our actions. Oh, no, wait. Samantha B. did not apologize to Ivanka Trump. Nowhere in that two-minute long, I regret my advertisers boycotting me spiel, did Samantha B. say, I'm sorry, Ivanka, for the degrading, demeaning, sexist insult? Because Samantha B. is not sorry. No, no. Samantha B. isn't sorry for the misogynistic attack on a conservative woman she doesn't agree with. Samantha B. is sorry for the, how the insult affected herself. Talk about selfish. And no mention in this self-serving piece about the fact that the photo of Ivanka and her son, it was precious. And the photos of the migrant children in cages? Those were from the Obama administration in 2014. Obama and his people put those kids in cages. But did Samantha Bee even once talk about Obama's inhumane treatment of those migrant kids? Oh, no, she didn't. All we heard was excuses. I'm a comedian, she said. It's your fault for expecting anything better from me. Different standards for me than for thee. It's the media's fault, she said, for jumping down my throat when I use an epithet I've used a million times before. Shame on the media for being more interested in potty mouth insults than in immigration policy. I was trying to reclaim the C word, she says. Well, it's a funny way to reclaim the C word, to use it in the worst way possible, to hurt another woman whose opinion you disagree with. I think they call that bullying. So stop, just stop. All you're doing now with your bullying and your phony apology where you didn't even apologize to the woman who deserves an apology from you is reminding everybody that you liberals define respecting women as hurling insults at women who don't tow the liberal ideological line. And if conservative women don't tow your line, you actually think they deserve to be degraded. I think I speak with the majority of the American people here when I say that is disgusting. And that is my final point. You can reach me on Twitter at Liz underscore Wheeler. If you like the show, please send me an email at OANN.com slash contact. In the meantime, catch us here tomorrow at 9 p.m. Eastern. And until then, have a good night. Want to see more videos like this? Click on the link below and subscribe to One American News on YouTube and call your cable provider and kindly demand that One American News is added to your lineup. Call and subscribe today.